man that thinks it's his job to humble me. Don't come around here with that negative energy because you will get cussed out disrespectfully. And women that are attractive like this wonder why they're on a sexual hamster wheel and guys only use them for recreational use only and never lock them down. That's the reason why she said in her last video why she's single. And she tried to come up with a copious reason why she was single, but it was just cope. We know that she's a headache to deal with, she's modernized, and if she means any of what she's saying out of her mouth, no guy with two brain cells that he could put and rub together are going to deal with this woman. It's just not going to happen. She is a bad bet for paternity. So with this mindset, the best bet for you to will be buy a dog and die alone. This message is for people who are turning 30 or if you're already in your 30s. It's lit as fuck over here, okay? Being in your 30s is lit and it's only going to get better from here. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> On up, okay? I'm about to be literally, dang, I'll be 35 next month in June, okay? Let me say something. It feels good not to wake up, get messages, what are you doing, where you at, da 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 da. Right now, I'm in my prime. Stop the cap. I'm the most happiest. Cap. Money is flowing and coming to me effortlessly. You're broke! You're fucking poor! I journal, I pray, I manifest, all those things. You get what you want when you know what you want on your own. I'm single, I don't have any kids. And I don't want to hear, oh, well, you're miserable, da 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 da. No, the fuck, I'm not. Every day, more lies. No, I'm not. Let me say something. Anybody who comes into my life, meet me halfway. Meet me halfway. You're supposed to be adding and not subtracting out of my life. And if you think that you can come and break my peace, there's a door. <laughs> you know how to use it. How about the people y'all probably dating? Y'all don't even like them no more. You're already mentally checked out, but you don't want to start over. Let me tell you something. People start over a single day, okay? You're not going to be the same person or that person that you're dating. They're not going to be the same person a couple of weeks, a month, a year, okay? Everybody's evolving mentally every single day. And if they're not compatible with you, it's okay to leave. It's got to hurt, but it's okay because you find out more about yourself when you're alone and you just think on your own. We're not here long on earth to be unhappy. Choose you, be happy, do that thing that you were so afraid to do, and fucking do it. Yeah, this right here is super cope. And this is coming from a woman who has figured out it is the end of the line for her. She's 35 years old, entering geriatric pregnancy, and she screwed up. She probably has one and a half, two eggs left. And it's just sad. Women come up and they cope and they smash things together and they throw spaghetti at the wall hoping that it'll stick. Notice how she says that she's praying and she's manifesting. Like, those don't even go together whatsoever. So that's how I know women like this, they just say anything to cope. She's like, well, I'm only supposed to be, you know, people are, are put on the world, on the earth for this and that. No, women, you women are put on the earth, on the earth to procreate with a man. That's your job. And you couldn't even do that. Ridiculous. But the things that she's talking about, exploring and being single and being with people that she doesn't like and all that, is because she cannot pair bond because too many dudes have ran through her and she can't get a relationship that she wants from the type of guy that she wants. She cannot be happy, so she has to lie and cope. So women can say, oh, yeah, I'm in the same boat, girl. Don't even worry about it. So they can have some type of you know ease to their pain. But we can see right through this, man. It's done for this woman. This woman's absolutely cooked, and she'll be buying her own drinks at the bar very, very soon. But, I mean, as long as she's attractive enough, dudes will use her for sexual access, but she's been drained of her oxytocin and she can no longer pair bond. That's why she is giving out this terrible dog shit advice. But over 50% of women will be childless, manless, and alone. Just remember, ladies, if he doesn't call, you don't call. If he doesn't message, you don't message. If he does not arrange plans, you do not arrange plans. If he doesn't book a beautiful sunset dinner by the beach, you're not gonna fucking do that, okay? It's the man's job to do the doing part. And you, queen, just lean back and receive. I'm just gonna tell you this one time. You wanna keep working here. Stay off the drugs. More terrible dog shit advice that's not going to work because men are, aren't going to do this because she's missing one variable. And the variable is that most women that she's given this advice to and herself are non-traditional women and men that have at least two brain cells that have some type of you know 
uh, brain, mind, and they're not some simp. They're not some dude that's, you know, a human wallet. They're not going to go for that. They're going to be like, nah, you're sex only. We're not giving you any of that. They're going to make you work for it. <laughs> like women give terrible advice that doesn't even work, nor do they understand that it's not even compatible and they don't uh, qualify for it. You don't qualify for this treatment because you're not traditional. That's why this is dog shit advice. <laughs> How thirsty and dried out of the dating market do you have to be to do a twirl for your co-host? They just mentioned one little thing. He just said something about her getting dressed at the airport. She gets up and she has to get the attention. Like women are so insecure nowadays. And then they push all of that insecurity and they project it on the men and say, that, oh, men are insecure. But see women like this doing twirls, trying to make a statement, trying to take up precious airtime. It's crazy to me. But she just had to make that point. She just had to make it about herself. Man, modern women nowadays, man. They, I never thought it would be like this 20 years ago. Get your passport. Wait, what do you want now? <laughs> I, need, I need some investment money. I need you to invest in me. Here My you. camera a little old. I need a new one probably by the day. Uh, how much you need? <sighs> probably like 2500 like 2500 You said what? Like 2500 You heard me. I'm at work right now. I'm going to just send it to you on Apple Pay. Listen, bro. When a woman likes you, she's going to show you, period, point blank. She's going to buy you food, send you money, make sure you're good, take you places. She's going to make sure you know it. If a woman has never bought you a gift or took you out to eat, offered a date, offered to pay, anything she does not like you, period, point blank, or she just doesn't have it and she's not trying to have it. And when I say trying to have it, I'm talking about money. That means she's not trying to have any. She doesn't have any hustle or ambition. She just doesn't want to have money. She wants to be taken care of. So all in all, she's broke. A lot of times you guys are dealing with broke women and y'all just have this mindset of, oh, my woman can be broke. I don't care. You're going to go broke with that mindset, bro. It's just a it's a broke mindset. And y'all always asking, like, Mark, where you find her at? Where do you find these types of girls? Bro, they have to find you. And she has to like you for you. I can give you all the tips in the world on how to make more money or hygiene tips and things of that nature, bro. She has to like you, period. It does not matter. I'm not even going to cap. I disagree with that. But I understand the part of him finessing, you know, these women because they like you and you just say okay so she likes me she's gonna do anything for me pretty much she's gonna start she'll start paying for things and that's the same with dudes who like her so it's pretty much the food chain so you got the simp that's 75 years old that's sending her money every single day just for conversations to do with the wrinkly balls on the, on the yacht in miami and she's getting that money but she don't like him she's just using him and finesse him but the dude that she does like if the guy like him mark ask for that then she will give him the money so it's the circle of life if you really think about it but <laughs> that's just crazy if you're on that but about the broke mindset and all that yeah a lot of women are broke and they're not trying to get to the bag and you know at the same time i would say get a passport still because unless you plan on trying to run game being the soft guy era and you know finesse the women that's been finessing a lot of guys because they've been running suckers around us because they're going to run circles around us because women are women but if you're going to be on that, cool. But other than that, I'll be like, just get a passport, bro. It's just too much of a headache. And it's, it's not going to become a headache. But, guys, I think you'll just get better quality going overseas. And that's just what I'm saying.